morning, class. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Before we start our lesson for today, may I request Mr. Pipita for us to lead us in prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we just want to thank you and praise you for the another life that you gave to us. Please guide our teacher as we understand our topic for this day. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Pipita. So, for our previous meeting, we have learned the idea of quartiles, deciles, and percentiles. What do you know about quartiles? Quartiles divide the data into four equal parts. How about deciles? Deciles divide the data into ten equal parts. And lastly, what do you know about percentiles? Percentiles divide the data into 100 equal parts. Very good! Before we proceed to our next topic, we will have a little activity first. I will divide the class into two, and each group will have an envelope with a puzzle in it. I will give you one to two minutes to solve the puzzle. The first group to finish and post their answer on the board will receive a prize. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Your timer starts now. Well done, students. For the group who finished first, come to me after the class. Now, basing from what you did, what do you think is our topic for today? Based on the activity, I think our topic for today would be solving percentiles for group data. Very good. Dear student, please read our class objective. At the end of the discussion, the grade 10 students will be able to solve the KT8 percentile for group data. Now, I will group you again into two groups and each group will select a leader, a secretary, and a reporter. You will be given 5 to 10 minutes to answer and each member must cooperate. May I request the leader to come here in front to get the materials? You may now start. Instructions, read the problem and solve by carefully following the steps provided. This is the problem to be solved by group 1. And this is the problem to be solved by group 2. Okay, time is up. You may now post your work on the board and we will hear each reporter. Let us have group 1. This is the work of group 1. From the given data, the 65th percentile is equal to 38. Thank you group 1. Let us have group 2. This is the output of group 2. From the given data, the 32nd percentile is 29.67. Job well done everyone for answering each activity. Let us give ourselves 5 claps. Now, class, let us check your work. What was asked in the problem? For group 1, we are asked to solve for the 65th percentile. Correct. How about for group 2? We are asked to solve for the 32nd percentile. Correct. Now, what did you do to solve for it? We used the given formula. Good. However, there are things that you need to do first before diving to the formula, right? Yes, sir. Before using the formula, what were you instructed to do? We were instructed to follow some steps. How many steps are there? There are six steps. What is the first step? We identify the lower boundaries for each class interval. Good. How do you identify the lower boundary? We found the lower class boundary by subtracting 0 0.5 units from the lower class limit. Correct. Now, what is the second step? We solve for the less than cumulative frequency. What do we mean when we say less than cumulative frequency? Less than cumulative frequency means the running total frequency of a particular class and all the classes prior to it. Good. What did you do next? We solved for percentile class equals Kn over 100 theta. Why is there a need to solve for this one? For us to know where the kt percentile is positioned in the distribution so that we can identify the class where it is contained. Good. 
After that, what is the next step? To identify the values to be substituted in the given formula. Very good. After identifying the values, what did you do next? Substitute all the identified values in the formula. And after substituting, we finally solve for it. Very good. You have answered the activity correctly. Now, are there any questions, class? None, sir. Have you understood your activity? Yes, sir. Now, we are done with our activity. So, to recap, to solve for the kth percentile in a group data, what are the six steps that we should follow? To solve for the kth percentile, first, we identify the lower boundaries for each class. Second, solve for the less than cumulative frequency. Third, solve for percentile class equals kn over 100 theta. Next, identify the values to be substituted in the given formula. Then, substitute all the identified values in the formula. And lastly, solve. Good. Now, please read. To solve for the kth percentile for group data, first, identify the lower boundaries for each class, second, solve for less than cumulative frequency, third, solve for percentile class equals k and over 100 data, fourth, is identify the values to be substituted in the given formula, fifth, is substitute all the identified values in the formula, sixth, is solve. Are there any more questions? Not, sir. Very good. Now, let us have some problems to work on. The table below shows the high temperature distribution in degrees Fahrenheit for 30 days during the month of January. Solve for 15th percentiles and 70th percentiles. Any questions, class? None, sir. I can see that you are now all ready for the test. Kindly get one half sheet of paper and answer the following. One half sheet of paper, sir? Yes, as what I have said, one half sheet of paper. The table represents the age distribution of 25 grade 10 students, sold for the 39th percentile. For our assignment, the following distribution table shows the scores of 45 students in their science examination, solved for the 80th percentile, and then make an interpretation. That would be the end of our lessons. See you next meeting. Goodbye, class. Goodbye, Goodbye sir. sir.